Hey there, Chef Jeff here at White Apron Catering in Lake Worth. Today we're going to make something a little off our beaten path, but it's still something good and fun, so we're just going to roll with it. We're going to make some granola bars. Everybody knows what granola bars are. Yeah, you probably buy them and eat them and unwrap them and whatnot. Why not make them from home? And just like you're going to find out, you know it's going to be better if you, if you make it at home than if not. So real simple, we've got some maple syrup some peanut butter, I've got some oats, dates, some nuts, dried fruit, whatever else you want to put in there. Really the key ingredients are your oats and your dates and then some sort of sweetener and maybe some some nut butter. So let's we're gonna roll right in there. Um, our first step we're gonna take a little peanut butter. Don't want to use peanut butter, use some cashew butter or any other kind of nut butter you want. I'm gonna use about a quarter of a cup here, maybe a little bit more. And uh, I've got some maple syrup, and again, you want to use some agave or honey, be all you can be. I like the maple syrup, so we're going to do the same thing. So we've got about a quarter of a cup of each, and we're just going to heat that up on the stove a little bit. So I just warmed this up a little bit, and as you can see, I just wanted to get it sort of warmed and together. If you want to do that in the microwave, you can. That's just a personal thing for me. All right, then what we're first gonna start with, we've got our dates, and I just chopped these up. I threw them in the food processor, chopped them up so they were kind of nice and choppy. And we're just gonna loosen those up a little bit. And we're gonna take and add that warm peanut butter maple syrup thing in there and just get that all combined. You want? Know and all we're gonna do is just loosen this up so it's all nice and consistent. So we got that all nice and mixed in and we got some oats here. We've got about a cup and a half of toasted oats. I toasted them up because I like them a little toasty and nice color. So we're going to just dump those in. And again, we're just going to start combining all this. I've got some pistachios. Got a nice, about a cup of those. And then whatever else you want to add in. This is where you just make it work. If you like cashews better than pistachios, use those. You want peanuts, whatever you've got on hand. I've got a little sun-dried cranberries. We're gonna do about a quarter cup of those. Maybe the same on some chopped apricots. And then because they're nice and healthy, we've got some little mini chocolate chips. And then all we're gonna do is just combine this and get it all together. Like I said, this is super easy and simple. And then once this is all together, we might even have to mush it with our hands a little bit. And then we're just gonna pack it into a pan and let it sit overnight. And then we're gonna pull them out and be able to cut it up. Like I said, you got this. And really it's the, uh, and see how it's all starting to come together real nice. And all you're gonna do is just make sure it's nice and combined. And then once we get it in the pan, you can wet your hands a little bit when you go to pack it in and it won't stick quite so much. So, we've got a pan and all I've done is lined it with a little parchment paper. And we're just going to dump that in there like that. And like I said, we're just going to pat it all out into the corners and press it down nice. And I'm going to give these a little rinse and show you what I mean by that water. So we can wet the hands a little bit and look at that. And then you, just, you can just press that right in. And like I said, then we're just going to wrap that and pop that in the fridge. Let that sit overnight. You know, press it down real good as much as you can. If you had another pan to put on there, you could do that and press it, get it nice and even. So we'll do that. And now through the magic of television, the next morning, we've got one ready to come out. And again, after sitting, this is perfect. And all we're going to do is just cut it into bars. I mean, look at those. And I can tell you, there is no comparison between a store-bought one and one of these. These are dynamite. Take that same piece of little parchment. Throw those in a little school lunch or a snack bag or your 
backpack when you're ready to go. There you go. Chef Jeff here at White Apron Catering. We've got some homemade granola bars. Go ahead and enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, let us know what you think.